Bases empty. First pitch. First pitch is a changeup. Looked at 0 and 1. Beckett kicks and throws. <laughs> Gets him to commit to that pitch, and he's down 0 2. Now, Gary, he's in a little bit of trouble right now with two strikes. They're probably going to try to get him to chase that curveball. Change up, got him, and the side is retired. It's the kind of inning the defense likes three up, three down. On now to the bottom of the fifth inning. And it's Mike Lowell. But Gary, I love his approach at the plate. He doesn't try to do too much. He reacts to where the ball's pitched. He uses the whole field and always looks to make contact. Here's Lowell's first look. This one's grounded to second. And Iwamura in position. And that sets down Lowell. Stepping up to the plate for the Boston Red Sox. Left fielder, number 44, Jason Bay. And Jason Bay to bat. Bounced into a fielder's choice as last time. Nobody on base, one away. Lined up the middle, and it's through. Bay ends up with a single at first. That'll bring J.D. Drew up. Now some momentum to get this offense going a little bit. Got a man on first with one out. Just have to stay out of the double play. Number seven, J.D. Drew. Anytime J.D. Drew is in the lineup, he can do damage. That patience at the plate pays off in walks and home runs. 0 for 1 thus far. Kazmir sets and throws. Try foot. Swing and a miss on a ball that was too high. He deals. And that one's hit. Upton to field. Two men have been put away. Stepping up to the plate for the Boston Red Sox. Catcher, number 33, Mason Veritek. And Veritek's in the box. He bounced out his last time. Runner on first, two away. Here's the first pitch. Now there's a swing. A ball hit high, deep in the right field. Gone! A two-run homer. And so they jump out to the 2 nothing lead. Wow, what a great time for a two-run shot like that. Now Gary looked like he was setting on that pitch. He got it and drove it out of the park. And what they're going to want to do in this ball game now is take advantage of that and build that momentum up. Well, they need to still be aggressive out there and go right after it. Great offensive production from the Red Sox. I mean, being able to take the lead here late in the game. Shortstop. Number 12. Base is empty with two outs. Glory! Kazmir sets and throws. 
Big swing on this one. Sends a long, high drive, deep to right field. That's going to one hop off the wall. Stepping up to the plate for the Boston Red Sox. Better fielder, number 46. And Jacoby Ellsbury to bat. He led the American League in steals a season ago. Two outs and a man on first. And he delivers. Slider swung out and missed. 0 oh and 1. Now here's one hit softly up the middle. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. And so the game of tremendous pitching finally broken here with two runs across. Offense is finally on the board. The Red Sox lead it two to nothing. It'll be the leadoff man trying to get things going here. Then we're going to see Iwamura here. Last season, Second runs, base. batting average, tops on the team. Number one, Akinori Iwamura. First pitch on the way. Strike. And Beckett gets it by, called strike, and it's on one. It's 0 2. Akinori Iwamura, he'll be swinging if it's close. Boy, good pitching, good defense. They're getting it done today and obviously limiting this offense, keeping them off the board. Only three guys left on base the entire game. Struck him out. That's number eight in the game. Now you see this ball go to the down and away part of the plate right here. He just couldn't get to it. Tough pitch to hit. Thought he had it. Though. Yep. You can tell by the way he's swinging the bat there. He thought he was going to get to it, and it kind of disappeared away from him. And it's Kyle Crawford at the plate. But Gary, he can really fly, and that puts so much pressure because it does make you think that he can bunt even with two outs. If he comes up with two outs, he's the kind of guy that can bunt for a base hit and still steal a base. So he is some kind of offensive threat. Well, that one look. gets passed, but no damage done. Now the 1 0 pitch. Kyle Crawford swings and misses. Count is even. Uh, the reason he's such a good offensive threat, Gary, you know, talk about it, is that he's tough to defend. You just don't know what he's going to do. And if you move the infield in, he has the ability to slap the ball by it. The 1 1 pitch. Time to call for that changeup. One and two. Like right, Gary clearly had him fooled right there. Had him overcommitted out on the front foot. Swings right over the top of the ball. Two on its way. 
Oh. Catcher gets a hold of that 